Greetings friends, welcome. Today we're looking at Skypack. Uh, we're looking at how to use a package on Skypack and then also what you can do as a, a package author to, to assist Skypack in setting your, your package up. So Skypack, we haven't seen it before, we've used it with Snowpack uh, and a couple of other demos. It creates a ES build, a native ES build version of NPM packages which means you can use them directly in the browser. You know, if I click on this run button on here, it's literally running Canvas Confetti, which is an NPM package that it's converted to ES build. Um, and so you can just run it without using NPM at all. Uh, so let's have a jump in, because I'm gonna look at my um, web components that I've created. Uh, so this one just allows you to scroll back to the top of the page with a really long page. Right, so I, I put it up into NPM. Um, Skypack is scanning NPM fairly often, I think, and it's found it, um, built it as an ES uh, module. It already is in this case, uh, to be honest, but uh, if it was a common JS or whatever, it would create an ES module build for us. Um, so I would be able to just copy this URL and use it um, in a project without NPM. So I'll, we'll show that in a second. But what I noticed when I was in here looking at it earlier is that my package score um, is missing a couple of green ticks. And uh, green ticks are good. I always like to have more green ticks. Um, so I'm going to try and fix these up. So the ones it's missing are module entry point, export maps. And, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Uh, module entry points. Uh, let's go. Well, let's just put me up there a minute. There we go. Um, yeah, module entry points, export maps, and TypeScript types. Um, yeah, so let's have a look at. Whoops, resolving those. Well, leave me there for a minute. We'll see how that works. Uh, right, so if I click on this fix here, um, what it's saying is the export map goes in your package.json and it's mainly for helping people who are moving from CommonJS to an ESM package. And then also you can keep internal files unaccessible. Uh, in our case, we're not CommonJS, uh, it's an ES build already. Um, and I've only got one file, so it's not actually going to help as such, but it will give me a tick um, and it's interesting to learn about these things. So I'm going to copy this section here um, and then open up my source code. So let me put myself back down here. It's, it's disconcerting. I feel a bit of vertigo. Uh, right. So in our package.json, I'm just going to paste that in. And so I've got an export section. Uh, now I don't need anything here. And I definitely haven't got a common JS file, so that can go. But I'll keep the, the import and default. And in both cases, they're index.js. Uh, and if I save that off, what I want to do is push that up to npm, well github first I guess. So let's do a git add and say updates for skypack. Now because this build uses snowpack, well this project uses snowpack, I now want to uh, I want to bump the npm version like so. So we're on 325. Then I want to do an npx snowpack build. And then I want to get into that build folder and push that up to npm. So let's get in here and do an npm publish. So we'll get version 325 going up. Now I don't know how long it takes for NPM to update. So we'll, we'll give it a few refreshes and come back. Oh, what? I saw ticks there. I saw green ticks. That was weird. And then they went again. 
Um, no, yeah, it's very, very quick. I guess there must be a hooks. They must have hooks into NPM, do they? So, or any package changes, they get an immediate update. Um, I'm covering it again here, aren't I? Let's go. Let's go back up high. Um, so now you can see that fixed not only my export map, but it also fixed my ES module entry. Uh, so that's interesting. Uh, and then I've just got TypeScript types. So if you were more of a library rather than a visual element, that would be relevant. You know, you might be pulling in a function. Um, you'd have to have your your you have to be in a TypeScript project. Anyway, I wonder if I can just fix it as well. Because, I mean, the last one didn't actually make any difference, but I, it just did the ticks. Um, so you would, in this case, we would need a types and a type field. I wonder how I create the types. Um, Ooh, that's hard to read. Ooh. Okay, let's uh, let's nuke that and just do a quick search on here for create type script types um, d dot d dot ts I think isn't it. Um, <clears throat> run the TypeScript compiler to generate the corresponding d.ts does this show you how to No, I don't think so. What about this one? Run the TypeScript file to generate a corresponding. Okay. Um, oh, here we go. Dash dash outdoor types. Emit declar. I'm just going to grab this whole thing. Um, and I'm not in source, so I'm just going to do star dot ts, I guess. Star dot ts not found. Oh yeah, I definitely got an index.ts. Um, let's just say that. Okay. Um, It is complaining. Did it create it though anyway, even though it complained? All right, it's got a types folder and an index types. Uh, okay, we could do that, I guess. So if we go into, um, let's go back in here. And what did it want? It wanted um, types. And so let's just do it here. Uh, I want to, oh, I had it in um, types like so. Right, so let's do a similar thing here then. Let's um, add it to GitHub. Uh, 
and then once it's there we want to get the next package version so we do an npm version patch then we want to build it and then push up that build and that should give me some good ticks um, what do I want? npm publish okay so we're on 0326 and if I come in here and do a refresh it will take a it will take a it took a couple of refreshes last time didn't it um, so potentially it could take a couple of minutes uh, while it's doing that I would just like to go over using this package now so it's an ES build um, you know this my my package uses lit element which is not an ES module um, but Skypack must have built that as an ES module and this will reference their their version of it I think so if I copy that and then let's go into go into here and just open up code all right and we'll just create um, you know as, as their website shows you can just run it straight in uh, the HTML page so I can come in here um, do this import inside a script now it needs to be a module for sure that much I know then if I put a div on here so we can test this and just make it quite big and then put my scroll to top web component in as well like that now that should just then work uh, with no no build tool needed at all yeah um, let's give it a try open with a live server scroll down oh it did work uh, so if I click on this now you can see it scrolls you back up uh, smoothly and that that's one other thing I just noticed as well is this is working in Chrome smooth smooth scrolling nicely uh, even though I used to have to add that if I go into my I need to update my readme um, so I've got in here saying you need to add this but certainly in Chrome you don't need to um, something like that and when I upgraded this recently I changed it from Pika Pack so this is all irrelevant now all of that can go all right I won't push that up yet but those changes um, needed to be done as well all right let's check back on Skypack I'm on 86 points at the moment oh okay let's update it again all right so everything is in place now admittedly adding those things doesn't help for this package um, but on some they will, will help the users for sure uh, okay there you go pretty interesting it's working it was pretty cool stuff all right there's a bit of sky pack for you hope that was interesting if you liked it give me a thumbs up um, thumbs down if you didn't don't forget to click that subscribe button below 
uh, and change the alert icon to all and then you'll get updates for more videos as they come out. I'm going to put myself back down. If I, yeah, I did, did we, yeah, we did see this, didn't we? Yeah. Um, I can now come back down. Whew. Okay, that's better. All right, catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.